This is part two of Ryan's Tree Trimming Incorporated, and we're picking up with transaction six. So far, your journal should look like this. Our last journal entry was five. It was for accounts receivable for $1,200 and service revenue for $1,200. Now we're going to look at item number six. Six states received $1,200 cash from the customer's build in number five. Well, we're going to be dealing with what two accounts? Think about it. We're going to be dealing with cash and accounts receivable. We're receiving cash for the customer's build in number five. And if you recall, the customer's build in number five went to accounts receivable. Well, now we're receiving cash. Cash is what type of account? It's an asset account. And what is the normal balance of an asset account? It's a debit. And so we're going to receive cash for $1,200. Then, what are we, where are we putting this $1,200? Well, it's going toward the customers we build, and so it's going over here as our credit. And what that does is it zeroes out our accounts receivable. Looking at our journal again, we're going to create the journal for receive $1,200 cash from customers build in number five. When we receive cash, that is our debit, for $1,200. And what did we say our credit was? Accounts receivable, $1,200. Let's look at number seven. First you will see that I have up a portion of our journal entry that we have been working with. And I have a few T accounts at the bottom that we're going to be using. Number seven says, paid $3,000 cash for the chainsaws and other trimming equipment purchased in number two. Well, number two, we purchased chainsaws and other equipment on account for $3,000. Well, when we gain an asset, equipment, that is a what? Debit or credit? It's a debit. It's an asset account called equipment. an asset account called equipment, and equipment has a debit balance. We purchased that on account. Well, on account is accounts payable. Accounts payable is what kind of account? That's right, it's a liability. And liabilities, are they debits or credits? They are credits. So back to number seven. We paid $3,000 cash for the equipment purchased in number two. Well, our equipment is already recorded. We do not need to touch equipment. In fact, we don't unless we sell the equipment. And we're not selling our equipment. We're paying for it. We're dealing with our accounts payable account. And so here is what we're going to be dealing with. Right here, our accounts payable. And so what are we going to do with it? Well, we have to pay that $3,000 that says we're doing. Well, when we pay out cash, is that a debit or a credit? Well, cash is an asset account with a debit balance. And when we go to pay it out, we're decreasing the account. So we're going to credit it for $3,000. If we credit cash for $3,000, what do we debit? We're going to debit our accounts payable to zero out how much we owe. So what does that look like in a journal entry? Number seven, we are going to debit accounts payable for that $3,000. And we are going to credit cash for $3,000.
Let's take a look at number eight. Eight says perform tree trimming services for cash customers and immediately received $800. What two accounts are we going to be dealing with? That's correct. Cash, we received cash and services revenue since we receive the money for doing our job. So we're going to be dealing with two T accounts here, cash and service revenue. Cash is an asset account with a debit balance, and service revenue is a revenue account with a credit balance. We received cash for $800, and we received it for doing service or trimming trees. Number nine states paid wages to part-time assistant $350. We paid wages. Well, we're going to pay wages, and that's going to be a cash payment. So we're going to be dealing with a cash account. And we're also going to be dealing with the account called wage expense. Let's take a look at this problem one more time. We're going to pay out cash for $350, and that's going to go toward our wage expense. Well, what type of account is cash again? It's an asset with a debit balance. And a debit balance means that's the side that's going to increase. The other ex account we're going to look at is wage expense. Well, expenses are debits, always. Expense accounts are debit balances. So these accounts also increase on the debit side. So fortunately for us, we're paying out cash. And when we pay out cash, we're decreasing cash. And that's a credit. So we're going to put our $350 here. And we're going to put our $350 here for our wage expense. That means our journal entry above is going to be a debit to wage expense. So number nine, wage expense, $350, and we're paying out cash, $350. Number 10, received an invoice from Mitz Oil Company for gasoline purchased on account during April, $400. The invoice will not be paid until next month. Well, we are dealing with gasoline purchased on account. Therefore, we're dealing with our gasoline expense account and on account, accounts payable. Accounts payable is what kind of account? It's a liability account. And liabilities have what kind of balances? Normal credit balances. That means they increase on the credit side. Gasoline expense, what kind of account is it? It's an expense account. And expense accounts are a normal debit balance, which means they increase on the debit side. In this case, the problem tells us that we used or have a gasoline expense of $400 for the month of April. And our account that we're going to pay on is $400. But we're going to pay it next month. So our journal entry for this is going to be number 10. And we have a debit for gas expense. Gas expense. And we have a credit for accounts payable. $400. There we go. Moving on to number 11. 
perform tree trimming services for credit customers and billed them $1,400. Well, let's look at the accounts we're going to be using. We're going to be using perform tree trimming services. So that's our service revenue account right here. And we're billing them. When we bill customers, we're going to receive that money later. Accounts receivable. Well, let's talk about what kind of accounts these are. Well, accounts receivable is a what kind of account? It's an asset account. And asset accounts have what kind of balance? A debit normal balance. Service revenue, what kind of account is it? Well, it's a revenue account, and revenue accounts have a normal credit balance. Now remember again, normal balance refers to the side that it increases on. In this case, we are gaining service revenue for $1,400. And we're going to have an accounts receivable for cash in the future of $1,400. So this is 11. And we have a debit to accounts receivable abbreviated AR, $1,400, and our credit is to the service revenue for $1,400. The last one, number 12. At the end of April, Ryan received a dividend of $1,000 from the business. Dividend. Well, we have an account called dividend right here and the business gave him money. When you take money out of the business, that's the cash account. Therefore, what we have happening here is a dividend account is a normal debit balance and cash account is a normal debit balance but we are taking cash out this case, $1,000. And we're putting dividend over here for $1,000. So for number 12, we have a dividend and we have cash for $1,000. This concludes the recording business transactions for Ryan Tree Trimming Incorporated. You can see the end of your documents that you printed out for the full solution of this portion of the problem.